I don't really want him crawling all over me. And sleep out in the wild. Around his mouth. Look at the look at the lips on him. Look, look. I've had a good look around, make sure there's no no crocodiles here. But there's a baby barramundi right there. Oh yes. I wish I had some snow or some cold weather. In the water there. That was a crocodile. Here's the pliers. Now that hook is in there really deep. Pretty, pretty interesting and very cute. Most figs are good. <laughs> Andy's fishing and wild cook. Hi everyone, it's Andy from Andy's Fishing and Wild Cook. I'm in the jungle today, and tonight, and tomorrow. It's an overnighter. I'm going to try and catch my fish for dinner. See how far we can get. It's um, very hard going. It's been quite difficult, and I haven't been in here since before the cyclone, and that was over three years ago. So it's um, extremely hard going. Um, all this timber's down everywhere. But we're going to have a good time. Oh find ourselves some pretty cool fish, amazing spots, and cook up by fire and sleep out in the wild. Keep watching. Climb down. Oh, through the weeds and oh, trees, trees and vines out into the a little bit more open. Getting closer to the main river. I'm in a bit of a dry creek bed. There's Creeks coming in from left and right, and if I keep following this, I'll end up down at the Maiden River. Everyone in the Northern Hemisphere, enjoy the cold because it's like 80% humidity and 34 degrees Celsius. Check out the stowaway I've got. That there is a golden orb spider. I don't know how long he's been hanging on to my my stick. That's um, yeah, I'm carrying him along. Hopefully you can you can see him there. They're not dangerous as far as I know, but I don't really want him crawling all over me. There he goes. I'll um, put him over here on this leaf. I'll um, yeah, leave him be. That's actually quite a small one, guys. They, um, they get much, much bigger than that. Throughout the video, I'll give you tips, tricks, ideas. I'll show you what food I've got, how I cook it, or... How I, how I catch what I cook. Camping gear looks like, everything. Ah, I think we're almost down to the river. It's getting really, really thick now. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go, we're at the river. Oh, might have a swim over this way, it looks nice. This way. Okay. I'm hot and sweaty and it's time for a swim. That feels so good. We're in a bit of a valley here. We'll probably um, head out of the valley shortly and uh, find a big water hole. The mosquitoes are really bad at the moment, but that's not what I'm worried about. It's the crocodiles. Normally, crocodiles don't come in here, but it's just flooded, so that tends to move them around a lot. So they could be anywhere. Um, I chose this spot to jump in because I can see all around me. So it's uh, yeah, nice and cool. And uh, we'll get into fishing shortly. Check this out. This is a bunch of figs. They're just sitting in the water here. That one looks a bit unripe. That one's ripe but eaten. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, this one could be good. I might try that one. Pretty much almost all the figs that are in the forest can be eaten. There's one that I found 
above 400 meters it's um, supposed to be toxic or something like that but most figs are good mm, it's not oh, fresh one just fell in the water then mm, that one's not terribly ripe let's try this um, this ripe one that's been eaten probably by fish or yabbies or something we'll try the, the good side mmm mmm very sweet oh mmm very nice that mmm I'll take a few of these and munch them along the way cool find so for drink I carry an empty water bottle which on its own is not much good but I also carry some little packets of flavoring and then I simply put it in here make sure it's running water and fill up there we go Beautiful. It's um, this stuff is staminated. It's got extra salt and sugar in it. Keeps me going a little bit longer. Um, when you're in the the tropics like this, you sweat out all your salt, and uh, you need extra electrolytes. So nice. It's time to rig up the rod. This is my little travel outfit. It's a Daiwa Triple B. Really nice little collapsible rod. And I'm pairing it with the Concept E. I'm going to use a uh, little Lively Lewis pack. You can get a discount of 10% on these guys if you buy the whole pack. Um, this, these are the lures I use a lot in the jungle. Small streams, fresh water. And I'm going to try the Lively Lures Mad Mullet first up, the 3 inch. Okay, first cast. It's not an ideal water hole. There's lots of weed right at my feet, not really deep, but we may as well start somewhere. Just fishing next to a big rock out there. A bit of an ambush point right there. Nothing. Okay. Check out this goanna. I was just cruising along the the rocks here. Oh, there he goes. He's off. They're always more scared of of we are than of us than we are of them. Oh. Just trying to get to the next water hole. I just got to this water hole here. And this is completely fresh, many kilometers up from the salt. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a ring of bubbles right there. All those little white bubbles that are in the water there. That was a crocodile. I've never seen them this far up. And I was actually quite surprised. Quite surprised is an understatement. My heart's going 100 miles an hour. If you have a look behind me, that water's not really deep there. There is a big pool up in front of me, but you wouldn't expect crocodiles to be in shallow water like that. Super clear, shallow. That, um, yeah, it shook me up a little bit. Anyway, let's uh, walk around the edge rather than in the middle. After seeing that crocodile, just probably half a half a k back there, I feel really quite nervous. Holy shit, that was just a stick. Uh, yeah, not real happy about walking in the water anymore. Like I said, I'd never seen them up here before, and um, they were literally well, same water hole, but back there. So that's freaking me out a lot. I'm just going to have a little stop. And I'll quickly show you what food I've got with me. I've got some nuts and cranberries. I've got some cheese, a muesli bar, and salami. Also in my pack, I've got a packet of two-minute noodles and three eggs. That's all I've got food-wise for the trip. So I've got to catch something to keep my energy up. I'm just going to have a slice of cheese now. And then, uh, yeah, get into fishing very shortly. It's almost bite time. Here we are. This is a nice water hole. I fished this one before many, many years ago. There should be a fish in here for me somewhere. This is where it flows out. And I think it also flows out over there. But where we'll try and fish is around those, those big rocks there and under the bank on the other side. Might go across here first. 
just uh, just under knee deep there. There we are on top of the big rock. Oh, it looks nice. Lots of weed here, lots of cover for fish. Good ambush spot around there. Reasonably deep. Oh, there's a fish. That's a mangrove jack. All right, game on. I think he's looking at me, but let's pull this out and um, yeah, have a go. Oh, straight away. That was a jack, I think. It looked red. Oh, right out in the open. What's the go with that? Yes, it is a jack. That is very unusual for mangrove jack. Oh, to be right out in the open. Oh, this could be dinner. This could be dinner. He looks big enough. Oh, yes. Oh. Let's see if we can get him up. He's hooked pretty well. Oh, I dropped him. Damn it. He was big enough too. There he goes. Oh. Okay, straight back out there, same spot. That was quite odd. Just right out in the middle. As soon as it hit the water, bang. He was on. Oh, that's a tarpon. Oh, I just struck a bit early there. I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> oh, wow. No, tarpon, tarpon. I don't want tarpon. Oop, another tarpon, tarpon. No, tarpon. I'm just going to let him drop off. Drop off, buddy. Okay. Oop, there we go. I want the mangrove jack or barramundi. It was, yeah, like I said, really odd to have that jack hit me as soon as it hit the water. Oh, all that excitement, and I missed my dinner. Ooh, that was a little barramundi. <laughs> oh, little barra. Didn't want you. Hey, you're too small. Let's show you to the folks at home. Hey, okay, here we go. A little barramundi. There he is, nice healthy little guy. I'll uh, get those hooks out and throw you back. But that's cool, fish after fish in this one hole. It's definitely worth coming in this far. He's been out of the water for a little while, but he should swim off okay. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful, see a little fish. Whew. Okay, let's get dinner, there he is still. And that's the lure that did it, the um, like a blue chrome, mad mullet, three inch. Straight back in with you. Oh, I feel gutted I didn't get that, that first jack, that was my dinner. The only thing I'm worried about when I'm casting out there is I'll look for little patches of weed on the surface and make sure I can snake the lure between them. Because once you get weed on your lure, that's it, the fish won't grab it anymore. Okay, something's down here. See all those bubbles that just came up? That was a fish checking out my lure from down below. Now where is he? He's here somewhere. I'm just going to keep peppering the area until he gets excited and wants to have a go. Can't see him. Oh, there he is! Yep, I knew it! <laughs> I love it when I call it. So. Those bubbles that were in the water there was him pushing through the weed. Now he is undersized, he's a barra, but that's really cool to see those bubbles come up. And then I just persisted because I knew he was down there. He, um, he's probably going to drop off actually, he's only just hooked. But that was very cool. just got hooked by a fish in my thumb, in my finger actually. That is not good. Uh, I'm gonna have to get that out. I'm gonna have to let this fish go somehow. Uh, oh, look at that. That hook is right in there. Oh, I'm gonna have to try and undo this fish first and then try and get the hook out of my finger. There we go, okay. Little barra, he's actually not that small. He's definitely undersized, so we'll let him go. Hey, barra, hey, off you go. Oh, and then we'll try and get this hook out of my finger. That is all the way down, right in. Look at that, that is gone in there. 
I'm gonna have to get my pliers out, I think. Okay, here's the pliers. Now that hook is in there really deep. And it's got a barb on it. Now, I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't know. Oh, it almost feels like it's in the bone. I cannot get that out. No! It came out some of the way. Oh, oh, jeez, oh, had it. Oh. At least I got out. Oh, I'm gonna need a moment. Oh. 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 oh, that's gonna throb later on. Oh. I'm shaking a bit. Oh. So guys, keep your fingers and hands away from lures when fish have got them in their mouths. I always preach it, I should actually practice it. Oh, I'm glad it's out. Oh, that's painful. Oh, I know what a fish feels like now. Although the thing is, fish don't actually have um, pain receptors from the, the research I've done. That's a bit of my skin right there, a bit of my meat. Oh, I don't feel all that well right in a second. I'm going to have to take a little while and recover. If you can can tell I'm yeah, shaking just a, a little bit. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if I look a bit pale after that. It took all my determination to get that out. I'm glad I got it out though. Um, yeah, that hook was in there very deep and it wasn't budging because that barb just tore all the way out. So I'm just going to have a drink, gather my thoughts, just chill out for a second and then um, yeah, try and catch dinner still. But as I always say, keep your fingers away from the lure if it's inside a fish's mouth. And I should have known better. I knew better. I just, um, I just sort of pushed the, pushed the limits a little bit because I'm running out of time. So I'm feeling okay and I took the time to just change to the little Ziggy surface lure. It's a walk the dog tile type lure. As the sun goes down, the fish, they move up in the water column and they'll be more likely to, to eat something on the surface. And it also lets me fish some of these areas here, if you have a look at that, that's, that's all weed there. Um, having a surface lure lets me fish right over the top of that weed. But check out how nice it is here. That's the end of the pool there, goes around here. And it's just, just pristine wilderness in here. There's that big rock that I was fishing before. It's just, um, just paradise. And as you can tell, my hands are still shaking a little bit. But we're still going to try and get that fish for dinner. I want to cook it up before it gets dark. So I've got to get moving. Go Ziggy. Mwah. <laughs> Let's see. Right along the edge here, there's a bit of a, a shallow edge here. That's where the Ziggy comes into his own. Let's try this corridor here. It's pretty narrow. Oh, perfect. There we go. Oh, there's a fish on it. There's fish on it. Come on. Come on, eat it. It's not a fish, it's a turtle. Hello turtle, look at him. There he goes. So this is what you get in the pack. There's seven lures. And I'm actually going to go back to, to this guy here. I'd, um, I'd like to use the deep diving bigger one, but there's just too much weed around. I love the, the purple colour. But yeah, I'm deciding to go with the, the chromey blue one. We'll try this spot one more time with the, um, the diving lure. And then we'll head to another water hole. I better get something in the next, well, I'm going to say 10 minutes, otherwise it's going to get too dark to cook. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 that was a nice fish. And now I'm crossing the next water hole right in the middle. I'm only doing this because I can see what's around me. And it's uh, less than knee deep, so 
If it was any deeper than this, I definitely wouldn't be doing this. But that doesn't make it any less worrisome. Secluded a little spot on the other side. Oh, hit! Come on, come on. How's it tapping? Got him! Yes! Oh, he had it. He had it. Hit it again. I don't think he'll hit it again. Yep, oh, we hit it again. Where is he? He's gone this time. I can't see him. That was a little barramundi. Oh, here he is. Got him, yes. That's him. Oh, he's, oh, he's undersized anyway. Three hits on the one little barra. That was fun. Oh, tarpon. There you go. There's a tarpon. Let's see if we can drop him without getting hooked again. He's actually not a bad size. Hey, off you go buddy. Yep, yeah, he's good. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Another tarpon. Not what I want. Oh, and dropped him. That's good. I have eaten tarpon before and they taste horrible. I'm standing up on a log at the moment. Last ditch effort to catch a fish. So, um, yeah, getting a bit dark now. I've got to go and set up camp. Make a fire that's a tarpon. Yeah, I need a fire tonight because of the mosquitoes. Oh, I don't know how much you guys can see, but oh, there's not a lot of light here. That's, yeah, I'm just holding that rod in front of me. Got to find a nice camp spot. I've only got maybe five minutes of light left and then it's going to be very dark very quick well guys I made a, um, a campsite here a bit of a fire you can't imagine how hot and sticky it is it's uh, I'm just sweating sitting here I don't know if you can see that on me but I'm just sitting here sweating it's um, it's definitely the wrong time of year to be doing this up in the, the southern hemisphere in the tropical north I wish I had some snow or some cold weather. Anyway, um, I'm going to have my noodles. There was something interesting down the water, so after I have my noodles, we'll go for a little poke down there, and maybe I can catch one of these guys. It's um, pretty, pretty interesting and very cute. Um, I won't ruin the surprise just yet. I'll have some dinner first, and then um, yeah, we'll see if we can film them, and then maybe try and catch one. See how we go. Anyway. Did I mention that mosquitoes are insane at the moment? Oh, just all day long, just, just relentless. And usually you have a fire and they, they disappear, but not tonight. So I'll set the hammock up shortly. And um, it's got a uh, mosquito net on it, so. Uh, water's boiled, and it looks like my camera's fogging up. I hope it hasn't, it's not gonna die. There we go. Sweat everywhere. Well, my dinner's ready. It's not exactly exciting, but that's what you get when you can't land a mangrove jack. It's nice having a fire. Um, I'm sitting a long way away from it because it is quite hot. There won't be a lot of you that'll be envious of my dinner tonight. <laughs> Hopefully, I can make up with it for you know breakfast or lunch tomorrow with a nice nice mangrove jack or barra. This is just survival food. It'll get me through the night. And then tomorrow, we'll fish again. Okay guys, this is what I wanted to show you. I don't know if I'll be able to get him, but there's a baby barramundi 
right can you see him he's got that white stripe on his head he's so cute look at him Let's see how far i can zoom in that stripe there that white thing that's him yeah i've got i don't think i can go anywhere near catching him They're very wary little critters here he is. oh there he goes Okay, we've got two fish. There's a barramundi right there, and then I don't quite know what this one is. See that one there? I um, I'd have to catch him and look at him, but he's definitely not a barramundi. Now this is something different too. This is a, a spider on the water. I'm guessing he's just fallen in and he doesn't really want to be there. Hey. Okay. Yes, he's trying to swim. Oh, he almost made it to shore. Let's um, let's give him a little help in hand. Let's see. I'll put him right. Oh, no, come on, spider. Oh, you're under it. There you go. There you go. Hey, that's it. And he's fine. There we go. We saved the spider tonight as well. All right, I'll leave him be. Okay guys, it's 8.30 at night and I am sitting in the water. I've had a good look around, made sure there's no, no crocodiles here. But we're not too far from where I saw that one, so I won't be in here too long. It's just so hot, I've got to cool down. Oh, adventures. Crazy adventures. Still mosquitoes around everywhere. Hopefully I can get some good sleep. Alright, I'm going to turn the light out for a bit. Boy! <laughs> oh, actually the moon's about to come up. Okay guys, it's time for bed. It's probably about 10.30ish. I can hear, I don't know, sounds like a bunch of different frogs outside. Um, I was going to show you how light I packed this time because I didn't have the sleeping bag. I've just got a ground mat in my hammock and just a really thin silk sheet and I haven't put the fly up either so hopefully it doesn't rain that could be a problem it's um, the time of year where it does rain but yeah we'll see how we go um, and I've patched up a couple of holes in the hammock with a cool little tree that I just found um, hopefully I remember to show you that in the morning it's um, yeah it's like natural velcro alright I'm gonna go to bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hey guys, just a little update on my night so far. It's um, it was okay for a while. It was yeah, pretty warm and humid, but the rain's just started. It's about three in the morning. I had to jump out, put the fly on, and the mosquitoes are insane. And now it's raining. Can you hear it? Anyway, it's um, it's not too heavy, so I'm not wet yet. But if it if it keeps going I could get wet anyway I'm gonna stay in here until there's a bit of light outside because the mosquitoes are just just nuts anyway it's um, my fingers just started throbbing too it's it's not too bad but I can definitely feel it so I'm gonna get another hour of sleep or so maybe two and then um, yeah brave the mosquitoes Okay guys, it's around 6am now, the rain wasn't too bad last night which is really good, my finger's okay, it doesn't, yeah it's a little painful but it's not, not going to bother me all day I don't think, I'll just quickly show you what I've got in the way of bedding here and then I've got to go and catch some food because I'm pretty hungry. So here's the view from my camp spot. And this is the, the setup I had last night. It's just the um, the fly. I threw that over last minute. Then all I've got, really got is the ground mat and a silk um, sleeping bag liner as a pillow. A um, a goon bag. That's a that's a wine cask. Just filled with air. Very light to travel with. And that's it really. Now. This um, 
This had a hole in it last night, which I patched up, if I can show it to you, without destroying it. See those green things there? They're like a sticky pod. Just pull one off there. They, um, yeah, they, they just stick to everything. And I'll show you the plant quickly. Now, being a sticky pod, you'd expect it to be a, um, like a vine or something, but it's actually this tree here. That's it there. They're just hanging off there, and it's this little, little tree here. It's, um, yeah, quite interesting. I only just found these yesterday and found a use for them straight away, so that's cool. Anyway, the mosquitoes are back in force again. That one got me. Uh, that one got me. Anyway, we'll go put a shirt on oh, and uh, try and catch our food. Uh, I don't really want to spend another night here, so let's get some food and get out of here. Oh, man, look, look, look. Oh. Alright, let's get moving. So the fire does help to keep the mosquitoes away and I'm just, just wafting it all over me. Have a few nuts before I head off. And, uh, yeah. Hope we have better luck this morning than we did yesterday. I really wish I had caught that mangrove jack. Mm, that was would have been ideal. Anyway. Well, um, we'll try again. Okay, it's the first water hole for the morning. I've actually changed to the deep diving mad mullet in three inch purple sort of colour. Let's see if we can get some of these bigger fish to jump on. And always keep an eye out for crocs. It's a bit shallow here. I'm going to walk around a little bit. It looks deeper over there. see a fish out there. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll give him a shot. Okay, he's to the right of me. Yep, and he's on. Oh, it's a barramundi. Ah. Well, first fish of the morning. A little barramundi. That was pretty quick. There we go. Didn't get pinned by this one, which is really good. And we'll put him back right here. I can definitely hear something over there, which... Barramundi's gone. There he is. He just swam right out. Now this noise over here is like a grumbling. It's either a pig or a crocodile. I'm going to keep my eyes open. A bit wary now. I did see one yesterday. What is that? That could be a mangrove jack. It is, but it's too small, I think. Yeah, he's too small. He's dragging it. Oh, no, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's have a look at him. There we go. Oh, I finally got a jack, but I think he's too small. Yeah, that's 26. And he's about 31. He's about four centimeters undersized. <coughs> Hey, off you go, buddy. There you go. See ya. Alright, we need to upgrade. I've decided to change back to the Ziggy. Any diving lure here just gets caught up in this weed and you can't fish it properly. So I'm just going to go back to surface for a little while. Oh, what is that? What have we got? I think, yeah, it's a little tarpon. Well, that didn't take long. A couple of casts, and the Ziggy's got a fish. Once again, not what we want. Oh, there you go. Off you go, buddy. Try that again. There might be something else there. Generally, if you've got a rock on the side, um, it means that... Oh, there you go. Oh, missed him again. Got him. Ah, oh, missed him. When you've got... Oh, <laughs> they're keen. When you've got a rock on the side, when the car, when the river's really in flood, it digs a hole. So there's actually probably a big hole there. I can't see it from here. Here's a nice looking tree. 
Let's see if we can get one. Oh, it's a bit far out, but that's alright. Fish it anyway. Oh, that's a little barra, I think. Yeah, a little barra. Just hear the way he buffed that. That's um, very distinctive when they go poof. They, um, they suck the water in like that. They, uh, but it looks like we're not going to get our food. Been fishing for a couple of hours now. It's um, oh, probably even three hours now. I've been fishing. Cute little bronzy-looking fish, but not big enough. And just because I call this a survival video, or you know, um, doesn't mean that I get to keep undersized fish. I still play by the rules. And, this guy is very undersized still. There he is, nice healthy little barramundi. So we'll put you over here, nice and gentle. And he'll just swim off, there we go. Off he goes. Beautiful. Oh, I just heard something there. I've just found a spot which is a little bit easier to cast at. I'm gonna have another go here. A lot of the time when you Fishing in the jungle, the hardest thing is to find a spot where you can actually get a cast in. Actually, you know what? That could be a big barramundi on the other side. Let's see. Yeah, it is too. Oh, I've just gone past him. Oh, that was a little one. I don't want the little one. No, I don't want the little one. Oh, there was a big one and the little one just ate it. I see a big fish and then some little little fish. This, this, the guy I saw was, you know, 50, 60, probably even 70 centimeters long. Let's try again. Damn it. Under here. He's followed it all the way across. See him there? That's the same guy that probably just had a go. Okay guys, I can see another barramundi free swimming. This one's not as big as the last one, but he could be legal. Let's see if we can get a, a look at him. Let's see if we go past him. Okay, that's about two meters in front of him. He looks like he's gone down. Damn it! There he is again, okay. No, he is just shying away from that lure. He does not want to know about the Ziggy. Okay, let's change back to a deep diver. That guy, I had it two meters on the left of him twice and he just, just refused to eat it. I think what we'll do is we'll wait until we can see another free swimmer. There's been two or three so far so yeah I might just do that. Alright I can't help myself I gotta have a cast. I can see a free swimming barrow. I think he's too small but we'll have a cast. I've been here about half an hour and this is the first one I've seen. Oh, pretty close to him. That's about a meter in front of him. Yep, he's on it. Got him, yes. Yeah, he's too small. Damn it. But we got something. It's um, yeah, really hot standing in the sun here. As you can see, I'm right out in the open. And, uh, yeah, it's hot and humid again today. We'll keep trying a bit longer. Have a look at the gold around his mouth. Look at the look at the lips on him. That is really gold. Hopefully, you guys can see that the same as I do. Hey, okay, I'll let you go, buddy. Hey, off you go. There he goes. Boom! Gone. Let that one go. Here's another one. This one's slightly bigger than the last one. I don't know if he's big enough. See him on the left? Here he is. He's on it. He's on it. Got him! Oh, he had it. He had it. He actually hit it. Hit it. Here he comes. Oh, he's not bad. He's right here. Yes. Oh, I dropped him. He's still here. He's sitting right here. He's in the sun for me at the moment. Oh, there he goes. There he is. He's upset now. The wind's slightly come up and I can't see into the water, plus the sun's reflecting and I've got about a metre and a half of water here and that's not safe for me. This is actually the pool where, the, where I saw the crocodile yesterday, so um, as soon as it feels a little bit iffy, I move on, and this definitely feels iffy right here. 
Let's see if we can find another spot, but I can feel my energy draining. And part of being aware in survival situations, this is not exactly a survival situation, I put myself in this, but it can get into a survival situation pretty quick. Now, I've got to pay attention to how much energy I've got, and sooner or later, I'm going to have to stop fishing and start walking out. There's some lilies over here which look good, but if you do this, if you want to do this sort of thing, you've got to listen to your body and pay attention to it. Because I am feeling quite tired without having extra food at the moment. This is about as close as I can get to those lilies, and there's actually weed under them. Plus, I've got a branch in front, so I can't really fish them. But we've got a nice overhanging tree that I'm, I'm actually standing about a metre above the water here. And we'll give this a shot. But I think we're going to have to head off very soon. I'm just feeling very weak. And I've still got a good eight hour walk out. I've got, still got Musi Bar. Um, I think that's about it really, food wise. Oh yep, what's that? Little barra, tiny little barra. Oh, it's good to see so many little fish. That's um, it's a healthy system, and those little baby ones from last night. That is really cool to see as well. But we're not getting, we're not getting my dinner or lunch. Oh, I think that's going to be it for me. Oh, I'm getting these, these little guys. There we go. We got quite a few little barrows. I did see a couple of bigger ones, um, one I even cast at, but yeah, let you go buddy, hey, off you go, head first, there you go. Okay guys, that's going to be it for me today, we didn't uh, accomplish the goal of catching my dinner, but I've got to head out of here, say goodbye to the big fig trees, see a fig tree, see the other big fig tree, got a long way to go yet. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully I can catch fish next time I, um, I do a trip like this. Well, to catch and to cook. I caught plenty of fish, just not quite what I wanted. Okay, see you guys. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. I do them every week. I'd also like to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters and people who've donated through PayPal. If you want to see more right now, click the, uh, the links above. Catch you next time.